and welcome back to Tactical Pontoon. I am James, and we will be swimming with the pontoon yet again this week. Uh, and what a week it has been. It's been a very busy week. Uh, last time you were here, we went over my Glock 31 Vickers clone uh, with the RTF2 frame. Uh, had, a, had a slide on it. Currently, that slide is missing. And we will get farther into that here shortly. Uh, gotta say, I loved shooting the RTF uh, 2 frame. Really did just stay in place. There was no, uh, there was no second guessing about it. Uh, beautiful round, the 357 SIG. Uh, not sure really. I mean, I understand why it's not a popular round. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm hoping that it's not, uh, it doesn't fully become an extinct round as much as I enjoy it. Uh, and speaking of rounds that might possibly go extinct, uh, we got the 40 slow and weak. Uh, the former elephant round, the round that uh, basically was designed because the 9mm was considered a... a just far too weak. And let me talk about this. Every time that I go shooting in my little range setup that I have, uh, I shoot at a wooden backstop. It's a, it's basically a pile of mostly decaying oak. It's literally been there about three or four years. And in Louisiana, we have bugs that like to eat it and turn it back into dirt. And they're doing that rapidly. So it's not exactly a, um, a steel backstop or anything. But after I'm finished shooting, more often than not, the only rounds that I find left in the wood or laying on the ground are 40, slow, and weak. Why is that? Why do I not find 9mm? Why do I not find 22 long rifle? I know I'm not going to find the 357 SIG due to the fact that it's literally out in space with Tesla's Tesla Roadster. So, however, I do have several 40 Smith and Wesson. Hmm. Why is that? 40 slow and weak, so go figure. Uh, not really my favorite cartridge. And as I will discuss very briefly later on, I picked up another handgun that uh, that shoots the 40 Smith & Wesson. Go figure. Uh, and that will be real brief. If you follow my Instagram, you probably already know what it is. Uh, if you're not following my Instagram, maybe you should consider it because as things change, that's where I'm going to update because I'm lucky to get on here once a week. So if you want to get an idea, maybe see some of the pictures, maybe just kind of connect with me there. Instagram, Tactical Pontoon, real simple. Uh, if you're going to look at guns online or on a social media website, Instagram, while not the greatest place in the entire world, is a little bit more friendly than, say, Facebook. So, anyways, get a chance to follow me there. Why are we here today? Why are we here today? Yes, wearing glasses, my uh, contacts just were dry today probably because I wore them too long. So today we're doing the four eyes thing. <sighs> my Glock 19. You may have remembered from last week, I sent my slide off to a little company called United Research and Development in New Hampshire. Uh, Michael out there, uh, we worked out a deal, found a good slide cut that, uh, that I really enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> Unlike a lot of the more popular options out there, he still uses a manual mill, which is, in some ways, uh, 
quite a more quite a bit more tedious and you have to have a lot more care than just your basic run-of-the-mill CNC now that's not to say CNC machinists and CNC programs are in any way less skilled than a manual machinist because I know trust me have a little, I, I know a little bit about machine work and <clears throat> they're both you can't have one without the other, especially nowadays. But he, he does his hand, his slides by hand on a mill, which takes some care. And I really, I really appreciate that, especially when I saw what I was going to be getting. Um, when it arrived just the other day, it came in a brown, you know, brown paper wrapper with his his logo on it and it was it was pretty neat then I opened it up and just I, I was in awe I, I kind of had an idea from watching his Instagram page but seeing it show up at my door guys look at this box this is a printed logo this isn't just a decal that you slapped on a black box I mean right here you've got the seal with his logo, uh, just just this attention to detail. This is this is really a nice this is a nice presentation. When I opened up the brown paper wrapper, I just it felt good. It felt like you know, it felt like he cared. I spent my money, and what I was getting back not only was my old slide, it was something new. It was something cool, and and he just Michael knocks it out of the park with presentation you know my other slide came in a just a, a basic box I'm cool with that I really am but when I saw this it just it took it to another level you open this guy up open this guy up you get another decal he actually sent me extra because I've got I'm gonna put them all over the place you get a decal he wrote he wrote me a personal note and from what i had seen on some others uh it's something he does it shows you you know you're dealing with with one guy you're dealing with with somebody who, who takes the time he knows your slide he knows you or at least an idea of who you are he takes some time that's pretty cool um underneath a layer of foam you have shadowed in here your slide. I mean, look at that presentation. Your slide is not bouncing around with some bubble wrap. It's held in place, shadowed in place in a box. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, that presentation alone just, it makes you feel good about the money that you spent on your slide. You pull that guy out of there. I've already got it. Um, reaccessorized, if you will, fully built. Uh, I ran this slide today, um, and I gotta say, just look at it. I mean, this is like I said, this is a hand milled slide. Each one of these serrations was another little setup. Um, you got the window up top, just in case. Uh, kind of makes me think I might do a ported barrel. Not sure, but I have the option now. Uh, these these serrations up front are uh, quite good. The light right now is terrible uh, for this, but you can kind of get an idea. You can see they go along the chamfer here, right along the, uh, the flat, and then down here again. So if you if you need some grip, you got some grip, and boy, I'm here to tell you, they really look great. If you get a blank slide. He'll actually do those behind here. Uh, looking at his website, um, this slot, this cut goes from from around. It starts at $250, depending on what options. Saracote, you're looking at close to $400 for a, or a little over $400 for a uh, generation three. Generation four is going to be a little bit more expensive, um, but it just 
it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And with these chamfers along the back, you chamfer the crap out of it, just gives that basic blocky glock some, some shape, some feeling, some art. And I gotta say, he really did knock it out of the park. Not only was the presentation in the box beautiful, just holding it in my hand, seeing just the level of detail, just astounding. I'm, I'm extremely happy with Michael and uh, United Research and Development. The, the Cerakote, Cerakote came out real clean. There's no, there's no defects in it. It's smooth. I wanted something that would match my factory frame because, you know, I really wasn't initially intending to do anything with this gun. I was going to keep it factory. I came across uh, some of the things that he was doing. I almost directly bought a new slide from him, but after we did some talking, we decided to go this route, and I got to say, it's got a stealth look to it. I mean, this, uh, I believe I went with the graphite black, and that just, it just looks good. It's mean. It's kind of a stealthy look, which I really, really enjoy for this gun, which is pretty much my primary defense weapon. Uh, it's going to go with me, uh, or it's going to be on the bed stand with, uh, with the uh, Streamlight TLR1. Beautiful light. I did take that off of my Glock 17, which has become a little bit more of a target pistol. So this is my mean machine get down to business. It's a Glock 19. I mean, what can't you do with a Glock 19? But just, just a stealthy little, just a stealthy little gun right now. Uh, it's got my night sights on it, my Trijicon night sights. Uh, so if there's a need for this weapon, it's going to handle it with these new serrations. I mean, just like my boogeyman customs, if you, if you need to grip up here, it just, it's there. It's all there. It looks great. I am very, very happy with what I purchased from Michael at United Research and Development. Uh, I can't say enough good things about him. Uh, just get a chance. He's not one of the bigger names at this point. I do see that changing because with a presentation like that, with quality like like this, it's just it, it's a matter of time. And I really uh, I really want to see him do some big things. Uh, as I was talking about earlier, speaking of big things, if you will, my Glock 31 had a slide doesn't have a slide right now because I will be wrapping this bad boy up my extra Glock 22 slide um, and sending it out to him for a little bit of research and development uh, so that he can he can play with it and uh, definitely looking forward to what uh, what he's got in store so uh, that means my Glock 31 will be uh, will be sitting around until uh, until my machine until my slide comes back from Visionary uh, Machine Works. So which should be another week or so. Um, so it's just going to be kind of lonely again. Uh, really, like I said, if you get a chance, check them out. There will be a link down below. Um, go there. At least just go take a look at his Instagram page. Go look at his website. Check it out. He's got some really cool stuff. Some of his stuff, he's got it in stock ready to go so you don't have to wait. You can just pay the extra money for a uh, blank slide. You don't have to trade yours in. Maybe you're building a Polymer 80 and you need a new slide. Get with him. He is a great guy. He will be there when you need him and Come on, the box alone, and my, I got a marketing, like a bit of a marketing background, so that means a lot to me. I feel really good paying good money and then seeing something like this come back. This, 
these aren't cheap. This is this is not just going to the uh, the post office and getting a flat rate box. I mean, come on. This is this is worth. This shows some care and some pride in your work, and that goes a long way with me. Get a chance. Go check him out. Go go check go check out his website. See what he can do for you. Really, link down below. Give him a shout. Tell him I sent you, James, a tactical pontoon. Uh, I really believe in him. So, anyways, just to kind of touch on something else, since I've basically shilled out something I believe in, uh, it's not paying me. I mean, you could. You hear that, Mike? Okay. Say. Forty Smith and Wesson. Forty slow and weak kind of mentioned earlier that I had picked up another firearm in 40 slow and weak. Believe you me, that was not an easy thing to do. If it had been anything else, it, it really would not have been in my possession at this point. But... I stopped in at my local gun shop, just happened to be browsing. I really was probably just going to pick up another magazine, because we all need more magazines. And uh, they had this guy. H&K. Oh, come on, like. Oh, that's actually the wrong side. H&K USP in 40 Smith and Wesson. I had to see it out of the case. Had to hold it in my hand. This is a gun I've wanted for a while. I've always been an HK fanboy, probably due to the fact that uh, Metal Gear Solid. So, got my heavy breathing on, especially just holding a USP which was developed along with the Mark 23 SOCOM. Beautiful, just, that's a duty gun. This is a duty gun. This is, this is a monster. Um, so, it was 40 Smith & Wesson, which in another video will go into history, but this gun was designed for the 40 Smith & Wesson. The Glock 22, which was the original 40 Smith & Wesson gun, was not exactly designed from the ground up for the 40 Smith & Wesson, whereas this was. It's an H&K USP. I'm very excited about this gun, but we are not going to be talking about it today because I just, I'm going to go farther into that. I got some cool stuff about it. Uh, I could talk about it for hours, but we're not going to. That has been Tactical Pontoon for this week. Um, yet again, you will see a link for United Research and Development. Go talk to Michael. Go check out his stuff. His work is awesome. I'm just excited, not only for this slide, but what we got going on with this other one. Um, leave a comment below if you got any questions. If you want to know about my experience or anything about this gun or any of the other guns that I have, uh, if you're going to ask me about my trigger stuff, I'm just going to tell you it's kind of, it's on hold. I'm working it. I'm, uh, things are good. Uh, there's not been any failures. Just busy with other things. So bother me about it. Really do. It's okay. Anyways, we will see you next week or the next video where we will swim again with the pontoon. So until then. Catch me on Instagram and uh, be safe. We'll catch you later.